PS3 was a console that I absolutely loved, but there's no denying it had its issues, with games that usually played much worse than they did on the Xbox 360 and a hefty price tag at launch. PlayStation 3 will retail for 599 US dollars. So yeah, the PS3 certainly stumbled out of the gate. Today, however, I'm gonna be discussing 10 amazing games that now, unfortunately, have unobtainable platinum trophies. As for the list, I wanted to have games that are more well known while also including only one game per series. And I chose games that I personally, for the most part, have played and would have happily gone back for the platinum if possible. First up is Resistance 2, a first person sci-fi shooter released in 2008 with Resistance 1 launching with the PS3 back in 2007 in Europe, 2006 in Japan and America, and then the second game coming a year later. It had a pretty fun single player, a separate co-op campaign, and lastly, a super underrated multiplayer, which leads into why the Platinum is now unobtainable. The Platinum that averages at 100 hours to earn, with a large portion of that time coming from having to kill 10,000 players in online matches with the servers unfortunately shutting down in 2014. Can we get a remake now, PlayStation, please? Thank you. Next up, we have Warhawk, a game I absolutely loved and released in 2007. We have another PS3 launch title and another really good one. This one, a third person multiplayer only game with large scale battles. We've got tanks, we've got planes, rockets, and for the time, this was huge. Not only that, but it has one of the hardest and longest platinum trophies, not only on PS3, but on PlayStation altogether, with a difficulty rating of 9 out of 10 and taking over 1,000 hours. Yeah, not 100 hours, 1,000 hours to platinum. This game, you'll need a shit ton of skill and a boatload of dedication. Having to earn every single medal, badge, and also reach the rank of general, it ain't easy. But since it's on this list, you know what comes next. A server shut down. Yep, in 2019, the Platinum became another unobtainable one. For those wondering, no, I wasn't good enough to earn this Platinum. I did, however, unlock 32 of them. It goes without saying, Warhawk is another game I would love to see return. Next is another online only game. SOCOM US Navy SEALs Confrontation. This one, I only actually ever played the beta, so I don't have a lot of experience with this one. I did, however, play a lot of them on the PS2. Anyone remember that headset that came with the game so you could like command your team? It barely ever worked, but those were the days. For this Platinum, you'd need about 100 hours and be incredibly skilled with a 10 out of 10 difficulty. Like most online games, the servers are only online for so long. With the servers shutting down in 2014, this Platinum is now off the table. The next one on the list kind of surprised me if I'm being honest. While researching, I found that GTA 5 servers were actually shut down on the PS3. This is, of course, only the PS3 version. We've got PS4 and PS5 versions still kicking, but the PS3 version of this game released way back in 2013, and I can remember the absolute hype I had for this game when it did finally release. I was there at 12 o'clock, the moment the game unlocked, ready to jump in and play the hell out of this thing. Unfortunately though, the PS3 version stopped receiving support and discontinued all updates. Game takes about 150 hours to platinum and thanks to needing 100% in the single player. Also, the main reason it's now unobtainable, the online trophies, reaching max rank 100 and getting first place in all competitive games would have taken a while, but now it'll take forever. Thankfully, I've already got this one unlocked. Little Big Planet, released in 2008, is another early PS3 game. This Platinum, that isn't too difficult, coming in at only 30 hours and a 5 out of 10 for the difficulty, a lot of them were focused around playing with other players and playing other people's levels that you could create, which is now impossible thanks to the servers being shut down in 2021. The server shutdown here was actually a little bit more unique since they only actually turned them off 
because of security issues. Unfortunately though, it also meant that Little Big Planet 2 and 3 were also shut down, making all three Little Big Planet games on the PS3 unachievable. After looking, I only actually needed four more trophies for this one, which is, you know, sad times. Moving on, we've got Killzone 2, one of PlayStation's main exclusive shooters released in 2009, was certainly a looker. When this game came out, it looked incredible, but it wasn't without some controversy. The first Killzone, and even the second Killzone game, had a gameplay reveal that turned out to be completely fake. And after that, everyone was pretty much always skeptical of early reveals. This was a time where it actually happened quite a lot. Does anyone remember Watch Dogs? Yeah, all that aside though, the game ended up still looking amazing when it did release, but unfortunately felt like absolute shit to play. With unresponsive controls and explosive spam in the multiplayer, it's not a game that I personally miss, but with a 8 out of 10 difficulty, and taking 50 hours to platinum, it wasn't an easy one. The servers, however, shut down in 2018, and at this point, all Killzone servers are offline, including the newest one on PS4, Shadowfall, which I was actually going for when the servers went down. With Guerrilla now more focused on Horizon, I doubt we'll get another Killzone game anytime soon. It's now time for a fighting game, Mortal Kombat. Released in 2011, the Platinum would have taken on average over 400 hours, so you had to be a pretty die-hard fan to earn it. However, the server shut down, making any chance of winning 100 online matches and earning the Platinum impossible. And as someone who's absolutely terrible at fighting games, this one was way out of reach for me. Battlefield Bad Company, released in 2010, Earning this Platinum was no joke, taking about 180 hours and having a difficulty rating of 9 out of 10. If you had this one, well played, because as of the recent server shutdown in December of 2023, the Platinum became unobtainable. I didn't have any experience with the first Bad Company, but Bad Company 2 was the game that got me into Battlefield and I absolutely loved it and I don't know how many hours I played of the thing. And after looking, it also seems Bad Company 2 servers shut down at the same time. And guess what? I only needed two more online trophies. Gutted. Next up is another game that I absolutely loved playing. The game is Max Payne 3. Released in 2012, the platinum for this one was pretty damn hard. With an 8 out of 10, and taking about 70 hours. I actually attempted to platinum this game, but I gave up after realizing I had to beat the game without dying, because if you do, well, you had to restart the whole game again. In hindsight, I could have probably done it, but at the time, I just didn't have the patience and I was kind of addicted to the multiplayer. But like almost every game on this list, it had online trophies. 11 to be exact, and I had 9 of them. So I would have probably actually gone back and got the platinum for this game if I had those two trophies. But unfortunately, Rockstar decided to cut the servers back in 2021, making this difficult platinum now impossible. That leaves only one, one of my all-time favourite racing games, Burnout Paradise. Released in 2008, this is a game I couldn't get enough of when it came out. Taking only 18 hours and only being a 5 out of 10 difficulty, you'll need to earn all licenses, collectibles, and then the real roadblock for a lot of people, which was to get 7 other players online inside the stadium. I don't know if I can express just how much I enjoyed this game. You could maybe get the Platinum in 18 hours. You can probably add an extra number on there and you might be looking at the kind of time I put into the game. Unfortunately though, the streets of Burnout Paradise are completely empty, thanks to the server shutdown. Okay, so while researching this, it seems there's actually a Burnout Paradise remaster on the PS4 and the servers are online. What? Hell yes. How did I not know this? I know what I'm going to be downloading after I've finished editing this video. 
And that brings the video to an end. Let me know if there's any other unobtainable platinums that you know of. I've been Mr. Leaning. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all on the next video. I'm going to go play some Burnout Paradise.